So I'm taking Rick to this really cool prop house that I've been to before in LA. I have a lead on a prop from the movie Terminator 3 that I really think he's gonna like. I'm excited to see what he thinks. Whoa, this is crazy. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Harvey, you here? Hey, welcome, hi. This is my employee, Rick. All right. Come to see my uh, Terminator. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I remember this. This was in Skynet where they're going to build robot armies, and these were all in the background. Does this turn into liquid? No, no. These are T800s. T1000s are liquid now. You got any T1000s? No. We haven't come up with the technology yet. Chumley called me up and said he wants to come down again. He was here once before, and he wanted to bring his boss and look at my Terminator 3 props. These torsos were used in the beginning of the film when Schwarzenegger was walking through the Skynet manufacturing facility, and these are all being made. All right, super cool. This is from the factory of Skynet where they're making the robot soldiers, and um, it all eventually went bad. Because right. in 2029, that's when Skynet became aware. And then they figured, you know, let's kill all the humans. Whoa. They're a little dated, not too bad. These look like they will hold up your trunk in your car. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what they used, right? Yeah, they used all kinds of parts wherever they could dig up parts to make these things, you know? Yeah. It's got robot guts. It's like rubber. It's not real guts. What do you think robot guts are? They're robots, Rick. They're full of rubber and metal. All right, um, I think it's super cool. For a movie prop to be worth something, it has to sort of stand out in the movie. And these are props that even if you're not a huge fan of the movie, you'll sort of recognize this from Terminator. Yeah. So are you looking to sell them or? Yes, they're all for sale. Well, how much do you want for them? I'm looking at uh, 5,500 a piece. All right. Let me give someone a call, if you don't mind. OK. I'm definitely intrigued. They're definitely different. <laughs> definitely different. Uh, I got a friend that's down here, and I think she'll know about these. Hmm. Great. All right, I'll be back. OK. <laughs> that wasn't funny? It would have been funny if someone else said it. <sighs> when dealing with Chumley, you never know what to expect. But this is, like, super cool. So I've called in Hope, who is the actual prop master from the movie. She's going to give me her opinion, and we'll see if we can make a deal. And if we can't make a deal, it's hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> hey, Harvey, nice to see you. How's your dad? He's great. Thank you for asking. So you guys know each other? Yeah. Um, yeah. OK, cool. So you know about this, right? Wow. Uh, yes. I recognize these little guys from about 15 years ago. These were used in set dressing on the film. They were um, used in the Skynet set. You will see Colonel Brewster giving a tour down the hallway. And that one and this one are visible. This one I can't quite place, because I'm sure it was there on set dressing, because we had a massive set. But the camera only sees so much. So this one, I can't say for sure, is in the footage, but it was definitely on the set. OK. So what do you think these would be worth? Well, because they weren't actually picked up and featured, but they were part of the overall backdrop of the film, I'd say probably 3500 a piece, 4000 maybe. OK, thanks. You're welcome, Rick. I really appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me out. All right, so this one is the one I'm interested in. OK. $5,500 for that one. Well, you know, according to Hope, she figured it was worth around four. So let me give you 2500 bucks. Ouch. That can't go that low. I'm going to resell it. You should be able to get six. It'd Easy. Be, it would be tough. Um, 29 oh, I just can't go that low. I'll do 38. Three grand. Ah. There's no room after 3,000 bucks. I think there's room. 
I'll go with 31, and I'm crazy even going that high. Okay, it's a deal. Sweet. All right, I'll get you paid. And um, okay, this is great. I told you you wouldn't regret it. All right. Um, um go ahead and load that in the truck. Now we can go do something I want to do. Harvey, you know I like you, so I'll be back. Good seeing you again. Take care.